who is the real founder of Lagos State? Who discovered Lagos State? Is it Yorubas or the Igbos or the Aousas? But the Aousas are not dragging for Lagos State. The Aousas are not in that box to determine who discovered Lagos State. But the Igbos are in that box to determine who discovered the Lagos State. The Yorubas are also in that box to determine who discovered Lagos State. But who actually discovered Lagos State? Right now, one of the oldest kingdoms in Nigeria, that is the Bini Kingdom, have joined the line to determine who discovered Lagos State. This is why history is good. This is why history is good. Our government, I don't know why they decided to erase our history from our normal uh, syllabus. I don't know why they decided to erase our history. Because this is, this is the main purpose of history. If they have kept history books over the years, I don't think it will be hard for any of us to determine who found the state called Lagos State. Because Lagos State is one of the most lucrative states in Africa, not even Nigeria. I think it's the top in Nigeria and one of the most lucrative states in Africa. Lagos State, everybody wants to own Lagos State. Lagos State, sometimes they will say it's a no man's land. Yoruba will tell you, say, who tell you, say, Lagos Lego State and no man's land? Because Lagos State were, family, uh, were formerly capital of Nigeria. Or Yoruba will tell you, say, who tell you, say, Lagos State and no man's land? Lagos State belongs to Yorubas. So, who actually founded the name Lagos State? Well, Asari Dokubo blast the air a lot of uh, about Bini. About Bini, about Tokbe, said that the Bini Kingdom actually founded Lagos State, at least some fraction of it, but not the entire Lagos, but some fraction of Lagos State can be attributed to the Bini Kingdom. Well, I think we should both hear from the horse's mouth himself, the Oba of Bini, when he made the remark that the Bini kingdom founded a fraction of Lagos State. I want to mention something that will now drag me into the controversy of Bini and Lagos. <laughs> <laughs> But, I, can, but, it, but I, can, I cannot help but say that at least it is in, it is in history books that we that Bini founded Lagos. But when some people will hear it now, they go a while and say, ah, what is the other saying there again? But it is true. Go and check out the records, maybe not all over Lagos, but as we know it now, but certain area in Lagos, maybe the nucleus of Lagos was founded by my ancestors. The upper of Lagos will say so. I'm sure you know that he will always emphasize that it comes from the name. Everybody knows. Well, I think we need to read more of history, but where are we going to get those books to read? Who is going to tell us the story? The true story, undiluted story of how Lagos State was founded. But Asari Dokumbo is not happy with that statement from uh, Oba Bini. Chokuti said the Lagos State was founded by white people. It was a base for slave trade. That nobody founded Lagos State, it was founded by white people. 
But the Yoruba will tell you who told you Lagos State was founded by anybody. Lagos State belongs to Yorubas. Now, wow, Lagos State now big me to me everybody want to take part of now. I wish my state was that big so that people will be claiming. Lagos State, well, there is something all those governors are doing well over the years that is making Lagos State so lucrative. Well, all this started, all the development started with, like I was meant to understand, from Tinubu down to the rest now. Lagos State is so big that everybody wants to partake in the history of Lagos. And every other state in Nigeria should pick example from Lagos to develop their state so that everybody too can see want to partake. The Igbos are saying they created Lagos State. <laughs> the Benis, the Yorubas. You know, I do not know much of the history because nobody taught us, taught us about the history. Nobody taught us about history. It's not my fault. It's not your fault. It's the fault of our fathers, of the government who have refused to teach us about our history. Even the political parties that they, are, they have been registered over the years, we do not even know it now again. I don't know why they decided to erase it. Bring our history back. Bring history back. Let's listen to Asari Dukumbo. Lagos belong to Pini people. Look at how intelligent you people are. How did the distance between Lagos and Pini people? They don't even know history. How Lagos was surrounded by many people. Look at how stupid you are. Those are useless arguments to be. Uh, uh, is useless argument. That woman attacked Lagos. That woman attacked Abiyokuda. That woman is in Bene Republic. So that woman, people say, uh, we own this place. Because they came to fight there. Borogu, part of Borogu is in Bene Republic. So Borogu people will say because they is shiny, all those places, Borogu army at the time, uh, so they will claim that uh, 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 Ibora, uh, the whole of Okegu belong to them. You don't know history. Uh, a Bini army attacked. Uh, uh, undo this down. He told people ferry them. It's in history. He told people ferry them. They went and attacked Lagos, Lagos Island. Not the whole of Lagos, so just Lagos Island. Lagos was made up of five divisions. Four of these divisions were in the former Western region. They don't know history, so they keep talking. Lagos belong to Bini. Which Bini? Which above Bini that Lagos belong to? Which above Bini? You see idiots. So if they flew from there to find Lagos. They all, they carried the land of Lagos from Bini and took it and put it in a, in, in, among the, amidst the Yoruba people in Lagos. Eh? They carried, as they were coming, the upper Bini carried historical parasitism. Most of these things are parasitic history. It did not even happen. People have heard that there was one number of Lagos and they start chewing narratives around that over of Bini. Uh, over there was one of in Bini. But the question I'm asking, the upper of Bini and the Bini people now package the land of Lagos. Eh? They package the land of Lagos from Bini and came and you know laid it down amidst the Yoruba uh -huh. and the Kum people. They came and laid it that Lagos belonged to nobody. Lagos belonged to me. 
something is wrong with you people. Le Benin army attacked Lagos. Okay, that sounds reasonable. But Lagos was founded by Benin people. And it's Lagos Island, that small tiny place they are talking of. They are not talking of Ikeja. They are not talking of Okorodu. They are not talking of uh, 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 Balagri. They are not talking of Muchi. That Lagos Island. By sea, each of them will ferry them according to history. They went and attacked because uh, they don't enter water. Believe people today don't enter water. They enter ghetto. Ghetto. All the others outside are each other. Each of people is there. If you want, I'll bring it. I'll bring the evidence from from uh, uh, European uh, reports. We need uh, soldiers to attack uh, Lagos Island and then they leave that Lagos Island. Well, Asari Dukubo, please, uh, come uh, call Oba Obini directly. Because Oba Obini was the one that made that statement. Not the Bini people. Hmm? But me, oh, we are not dragging anything. Oh. I'm not dragging after uh, dragging anything Bini or no Bini. Oh. All I'm saying is that, see, Lagos State is that good for people to fight over. Ah. Lagos State is that good for, for people to fight over. That means they should go and start doing their own part. So let's uh, hear from uh, Sheokuti. Sheokuti is the verse of the matter. <laughs> Go enter Nigeria, add Nigeria, who do anybody? That it is not acceptable. Like when I'm going to be shout, he, he, Lagos is Igbo land, Yoruba land. Lagos is white man. Go and go to Ministry of Land in Lagos. See what Yoruba people, how many percentage of Lagos do Yoruba people own? How much of the land? How much of the. Go and look at it. The whole Nigeria. How much. Look at your oil industry. Who is controlling it? It's there. They, they hide it in plain sight. It is hidden in plain sight. A co hotel. That's the most expensive real estate in the whole Lagos. Who, is, who owns it? Is it you? Have you seen a co hotel real estate? Now, Eco Atlantic is an extension of a co hotel owned by the same foreigners. Is it you that own it? You don't own anything in your country. Look at your tele the phones you use. MTN is South Africa. I wouldn't be happy if it was white South Africa, uh, black South Africa. But MTN is still white South Africa. It's still the Europeans that are dominating our brothers in South Africa that own it, bring their money that they've stolen from our own brother there to come and steal our own money again in Nigeria. Airtel, is it from your country? Nine, nine mobile. Now they say, will they take and pay now? We eat sell out. Give us dirty slap, carry our all our money wrong. Go to your oil business. The upstream where the money of the oil business is. How many of your countrymen operate in the upstream sector? How many of them compete with Shell and Chevron and Mobi and Texaco and Elf and all these huge European companies and BP all draining Nigeria's oil? All your farming in Nigeria, go and look at it. Who do you think they are farming for? They are farming to export. They are all subsidiaries of European companies. Go to your banks, the banks in Nigeria, all these big banks, hey, this Genovia, hey, hey, all this thing. Go and look at the shareholders of their bank. How many percentage of those banks do they own? Go and look at it. I know for a fact that Carlyle Group is the majority shareholder in Access Bank. It came out when Access Bank acquired Diamond Bank. That the Kalai group was angry and they wrote a letter exposing that they were the majority shareholders. That how dare this company, how, they, how can they do the merger without taking permission from them first? Basically, that was what the letter was about. That why would they do the merger without their permission first? Imagine this will you both come to tell us that we shouldn't rescue ourselves financially anyway. That's another story entirely. Where is it? What do, you, what do you own? Absolutely nothing in the country. We're all shouting. 
Igbo is this, the river is that. House. We own nothing. And these elites, these politicians, they are willing, this little 20, 20 to 30 percent that they are allowed to control for their, in their own country, they are happy with it because it allows them to send their children to Europe and America to buy the best houses, to buy the best cars, to buy the best cars that Oyibo make with the money, buy the best houses in the Oyibo land, keep the money in the Oyibo. Well, uh, Shokuti honestly has a really strong argument. Really, really strong one. I pray may God help Nigerians. Yoruba or no Yoruba, who get Logos opinion or no Bini Boso, well, we could go relax. It's not about that one. I don't want people to be pushing that, that false narrative. Before you know now, the thing will come, come, turn on another kind of fight. Please, we are not fighting each other. We are all Nigerians. Mm-hmm.